Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Johnny Jet here with a brand new series for the channel. We're going to be playing a little bit of Journey of Wrestling. This is a booking simulator that I've uh, fiddled around with a little bit before. I have uh, never actually really done a lot with it. Um, but I've got the paid version here and I'm going to try to do a little bit of something new for you. I'm going to actually book... World Championship Wrestling in 1996 with a brand new roster. We're going to do a, a full draft here um, right before your very eyes, which I'm sure will be riveting content. Um, before I do anything else, I want to go ahead and I want to get it out of the way. I'm not done with um, Fire Pro by any stretch of the imagination. I am continuing Fire Promoter. This is just something I want to also do. Um... So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to jump in here. We're going to be drafting the full roster for WCW. I believe WCW starts as the largest company in the game. Uh, this is prior to the NWO's formation. So, And it's also prior to um, Steve Austin's rise to fame, his rise to power. I think it's set right before King of the Ring. Yeah, right before King of the Ring. It's right before... Um, it's right before King of the Ring 96, and it's also right before uh, Bash at the Beach 96. So a, a lot of stuff in the real world was uh, changing at this time. We're going to be changing it a lot more uh, because we're going to be completely redrafting every roster for the, uh, the entire game world. So that should be exciting. Um, hopefully we get a pretty decent seed on the drafting here. We're number three. We're number three, so that's not too bad. Um, okay, so USWA has already grabbed Flair. That's unfortunate, and Bret Hart's going to New Japan. But I can still get, I can still get Sting. I can still get Hogan. I can still get Shawn Michaels. Uh, these guys are not going to stay on the board very long. Uh, but I've got to get the heart and soul of WCW if I'm going to get a good company going here. I've got to get Sting. I've got to grab Sting. Okay, see. All right, Shawn Michaels going to ECW. We got Scott Hall down there going to WAW and Hulk Hogan returning to the Federation. So, all right, we've also missed out on Kevin Nash. We've missed out on Undertaker. So there's definitely going to be no NWO for sure. In this timeline, there'll be no NWO. Um, we could still get, we can still get Randy Savage, who I think would be a good... I think he'd be a, a good person to have on the roster, but I'm not sure if he's who I want necessarily. Cause I, I mean, he'd be a great workhorse and he's got great charisma. His days in the ring are definitely not, not over. They're definitely not behind him. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get Randy Savage second for our company. WCW with Sting and Randy Savage. Oh, WWF went ahead and got funk. Uh, Inoki is gone. That's fine. Warriors gone to New Japan, Kaijimuto and Fujinami. Okay, so let's see who who can we grab that'd be a good like heel for our company. Um, maybe Mankind. I'm not gonna say definitely not to Mankind, but there's a lot of other possibilities. Masawa could be really really solid. The Giant would be good. He's hot right now. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go with Austin though. He's he's on the cusp of becoming a big name. He's a heel right now. He would probably work pretty well. And I think an Austin Savage feud would be really good. And I don't think we ever got that in real life. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Austin. All right, we've missed out on the Giant. Misawa went to New Japan. Sandman's in ECW. At least they got somebody from actual ECW. Um, okay. All right. Let's see. Because Vader, oh, Vader would be a great get. Vader would be great for us. Um, and I do think I'm going to grab him. I think I think Vader is my pick. He's my number four. Um, so Sid's gone. That's unfortunate because Sid was really popping off in this time period. Uh, Mr. Perfect, who was injured, he's gone. Tenryu. Okay, all right. N none of those guys are people I would necessarily have immediately latched on to. So, um... I'm seeing Luger. Raven would be a pretty solid choice. I could build a flock for him. That would be an option. Davey Boy Smith would be all right to have around. Um, I think I've got two faces and two heels right now. Okay. So, um, Lex what would probably be the get. 
Lex is probably going to be the choice. I think I can do more with Lex than I could with some other people. I'm going to grab Lex Luger. Takayama. Okay, Raven's gone. Bam Bam's gone. That's not the, the end of the world. Um, I was talking about doing something with Davy Boy. Davy Boy would be a good get. Um, Steve Williams might be a good a good fit for our company. I think he'd be solid. Um, uh, hmm. Yokozuna's face right now? Hmm. Not, not what I want. Uh, I think I'm going to go Steve Williams. I think I'm going to go Steve Williams. Hopefully... Oh, they got Steiner. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. I wanted, I really did want Scott Steiner. Um, but okay, I, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab Eric Bischoff because, hey man, you you gotta have, you gotta have, Eric Bischoff in WCW. If you don't, what are you even doing? And I'm also gonna grab. Oh, oh you're making it hard for me. I'm, I've got to grab Page before someone else gets him. I've got to grab Page before someone else does. All right. Um, ooh, Animal and Hawk are split up. That'll be interesting. Um, Pillman's gone. Paul Orndorff. Okay. Uh, I think I'm, maybe, Mike Awesome could be an alright, an alright grab for us. But I think that Bobby Heenan would be a better get. So I'm gonna get Bobby Heenan. Mike Awesome's gone. Jerry Lawler's gone. Tenta. Takada. Iron Sheik. Okay. Um, Arn Anderson, even without Flair, would be a, a really, really good uh, get for us. He'd be a great choice for us. Owen Hart also be pretty solid, but his tag team partner's not here. But Owen by himself would be pretty good. But I do think maybe I'm going to go with Arn Anderson. I think I'm going to go with Arn Anderson. Liger, Dreamer's gone. Dreamer would been would have been somebody I would have had my eye on, but all right. So let's see, because we've got we we drafted two managers here. So um, I need to think about my tag team division. I need to think about my tag team division, and that's the person I want to start with. Booker T. Harlem Heat has to be born on WCW. They got to be. They've got to exist here. So I've got to go ahead and get Stevie Ray real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and grab Stevie Ray, Vampiro, Rick Steiner. I would have wanted the Steiner brothers, but it is what it is. Um, all right, Gold Dust is gone. Let's see. Sabu could be a good get. I'm, I think maybe Shane Douglas would be really solid for, like, the U.S. title pitcher. I think Shane Douglas would be a really solid U.S. title guy. So I'm going to grab Shane Douglas. Okay, Sabu, Rick Martel. All right. Um, let me look down here a little bit. But okay, the rock and rolls here. Ahmed Johnson. He's somebody I might shortlist. Um, I might grab the. I might go ahead. I might get the rock and roll if I can. I might get the rock and roll. Is Scott Norton teaming with anybody right now? He is with Ice Train. He's on. He, Fire and Ice right now is a, is an active tag team. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the. Uh, I'm gonna get fire and ice. Yeah, fire and ice. I I, I need a, I need a good tag division. So yes, ah, uh, rock and roll split up. Rock and roll split up. That's unfortunate for them. Ah, uh, Ahmed Johnson, who I also I had my eye on him. So that's. Not what I really wanted. Uh, Wildfire Timer Rich, who's he teaming with right now? Doug Gilbert. Um, maybe New Jack. Now New Jack could be a could be an addition to the WCW roster. You may not expect, but you might res respect. I think I'm gonna grab. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm gonna do it and. Um, Mustafa uh, Saeed. Yeah, New Jack and Mustafa are going to join WCW. Um, okay, let's see. So I feel like I've got wiggle room here. I've got to, I've, I've got to start building a cruiserweight division too. So I think Jericho is going to be a, fo a solid foundation for that. John Haystacks, Wahoo, McDaniel, Farouk's gone. That's that's all fine, but. Building up a, 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 
cruiserweight division, I want to get guys like Hayabusa also, for sure. Okay. The, some people are going to be starting to drop out, so that's... Oh, the Dudleys, right. They would be a thing at this point. They're not, like, super over, but they are a thing. I, sh I want them on my roster, too. I need to get, like, a face tag team, but... I'll work on that at some point. But right now... Okay. All right. Oh, they got Ming down here. That's that's unfortunate. I want I did want Ming, but um, ooh, RVD or Dean Malenko, because I might not be able to get both. Oh man, um, I'm gonna go with RVD, even though I think Dean Malenko would have been the better choice there. All right, nobody else got him, so I'm I'm gonna grab Malenko real quick too for my cruiserweight division. Uh, let me look at my tag teams here. I've got. I've got Harlem Heat, I've got Fire and Ice, I've got the Gangstas, I've got the Dudleys. So I've got, I need another face tag team. At least one more face tag team. Uh, is Brian Christopher in a tag team right now? Not not right now. I could put him with somebody, but if I can get, like, actual tag teams right now, I'm going to try to. Is, uh, is Duggan in a tag team with no one? No, he isn't. Um, hmm... The, the Nasty Boys are not faces. Um, you know, the Smoking Guns are faces, though. The Smoking Guns are faces. All right, I'm going to draft Billy Gunn, and then I'll, I'll grab... I'll grab Bart Gunn to fill out my... a little bit more of my tag team division there. WCW is going to have an interesting tag team division. That's for sure. Uh, let's see who else, who else can we grab? Cause we need to fill out the tag team division a little bit more and we need to fill out the cruiserweight division and we could get more like, we could get more heavyweights too, but I, I want to, Umaga, that's a little early, isn't it? 1996 for the, well, for certainly for the Umaga gimmick, it's early, but, uh, um, I'm going to grab Ray Mysterio Jr. before I, before anyone else snags him up gotta get him uh who else who else would be good uh tag team wise tag team so i need to focus on tag teams um is the patriot still available because if if so is patriot still on the somebody got the patriot who got the patriot how dare they don't they know i want to book the patriot rude rude guys uh, let me check one more time. No? All right, fine. Um, well, who else is... Maybe... Hold on. Like, Perry, Saturn, and the Eliminators, are, are they faces? They're neutral, maybe. Okay. Eliminators are coming to WCW. Sure. Uh, so I'll get, I'll get John Cronus, too. Grab John Cronus. All right. That's... That's a, a few tag teams there. Let me make sure I've got... How many tag teams do I have? Harlem Heat. I've got uh, Fire and Ice. Got the Gangstas. I've got the Dudleys. Okay, I've got six tag teams. Two faces, one neutral, and three heels. So that's an even number of tag teams. I feel all right about that. Now, I do need to grab definitely some cruiserweights for cruiserweight wrestling action. Um... Conan's not really a cruiserweight, but maybe. Oh, right, Glacier. Right, Glacier. Maybe I should build, like, a, a, a stable to feed with Glacier. That could be fun. I do like the idea of that. Um, oh, my God, i got to get the American Males. Are you kidding? Is Scotty Riggs still available? Ah, oh, Scotty Riggs is still available. So, yeah, um, I think I'm going to get the American Males. Let me get Bagwell first, because he's the more important member of the American Males. And then I'll grab, uh, then I'll grab Riggs. The other half of the American Males. That'll give me uneven tag teams, but I'm fine with it for now. Um, cruiserweights, before I get distracted again. Cruiserweights, I need to get more. More cruiserweights, delicious, delicious cruiserweight action. Um, which, I don't know who this is. I don't know who the I don't know who the Colorado kid is. Um, Stevie Richards could be an interesting 
addition to the cruiserweight division. He'd be a, a little big for the cruiserweights, but I mean, oh, you know what? You know what, Marty? Marty, come on aboard, buddy. You you got your problems, but you're part of the new rockers with uh, with Al Snow. You're a face tag team. You can be my undercard face tag team. That works great for me. Focus, John. You need to get cruiserweights. Stop ta assigning all the tag teams you can. Uh, Great Sauce K could be a pick. Um, let's see. Norman Smiley. I, I used to really like him as a kid. Uh, I could probably book him as a, as a part of the cruiserweight division. He was a smaller guy. Um, oh, yeah, Matt Bourne's doing the, the Born Again gimmick right about now. Um, let's see. Hector Garza. Solid, solid person. Uh, oh, Eddie Guerrero. Perfect. Come on aboard, Eddie Guerrero. Oh, they grabbed Psychosis from me. That's rude. That's just rude. Um, but Eddie, Eddie's a good get. Um, I don't feel like my cruiserweight division is going to be as robust as I, I would like it to be. But um, Eddie is definitely a, a good, good, deep roster signing there. Disco Inferno. I, yep, I'm not putting him on the booking team, but I will put him in the ring. Uh, let's see, who else? Viscera. Viscera could feud with Glacier. That'd be a thing. I could do that. Um, Super Crazy would be a good, a good, good choice. Uh, but I want to see if I can find someone with better, that's just a little bit more exciting. Kidman. Kidman would be my pick. Kidman was one of the best cruiserweights in history. Pound for pound, one of the best guys uh, in his weight class, for sure. Um, so Kidman. Uh, maybe, maybe Devin Storm. Maybe Devin Storm. Uh, probably Chavo though. Chavo would be a good a good choice. He's he's pretty solid. He's he's decent. Um. Focusing now on my on my cruiserweight division, really focusing on the cruiserweights. Um, Justin Hawk Bradshaw would be a, a, a get, but I think I'm actually going to go Lance Storm. Lance Storm is a is is a good choice. He's a good hand to have around. You can you can work him as a cruiserweight. You can work him as a heavyweight. He'd be fine with whatever. Um, let me look at this roster here because I'm 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 up to I, I've got like. I'm almost 40 people deep here, so let me look at them. Got my upper, my main event scene is solid. We got Sting, Savage, Austin, Vader, Luger, and, and Dr. Death. Uh, mid card's going to be like uh, DDP and, oh, let me see if Barry Windham's been got. If Barry Windham hasn't been signed, I'm going to sign Barry Windham. Barry Windham, there we go. Good cruiserweight to have around. Um, where was Where was Bradshaw at? He was up here a little bit. Was he in a tag team? No, not at this time. He's a good, solid heel worker to have, though. But let me look here. Um, so my mid-card is going to be like Arn Anderson and Shane Douglas, DDP. And then I started just doing cruiserweights. Okay, so I could use a, a few more people in the U.S. title division and a few guys for like a, like a, a TV title. So, okay. I've still got room. I've still got some wiggle room here. Stevie Richards could be a good get for that um, that TV title scene. Um, let me look up. Here. Conan would would probably be a good a good selection. Uh, Tracy Smothers is Jesse is Jesse James Armstrong still on the roster? No, he's not. Okay, he's not available anymore. We're past the point where he would be available. That's unfortunate. Masato Tanaka could be a good pick. Um, Paul Diamond, eh, maybe. Let's see. I do think Conan would be a good, solid choice. He's got a he's got a solid win over. Uh, wait, is he is he does he transform into Farouk? Huh. Weird. But um, Glacier might be a, might be a pick. I might start picking some people to challenge Glacier. Um. I think I might do that. I think I might start picking some people to challenge Glacier. Um, what if I had, like, a stable of people 
led by like Sherry or or Marlena or something that was like trying to go after after Glacier. That could be kind of fun. Like they're actually the one feuding with them. That could be kind of fun. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Glacier just so he's off, he's off the board. I'll take Glacier. They take Smash and Kevin Green. I don't care about any of them. Uh, and Sherry, because I can always just put people with Sherry to feud with Glacier. Sherry versus Glacier will be a a fun feud. Um, and I think I'll start. The feud between, like, Glacier and who? Let me see. Um, well, Kama Mustafa would be a, a solid pick, I guess. He would be an, a, an option. Uh, I could also do... I'm really thinking, like... I'm thinking, like, Viscera. I'm really thinking, like, a Viscera would be a good a good choice for the, the feud with... I think that... I'm thinking I'm going to go with Viscera. Yeah. Viscera versus Glacier will be a, a solid... TV title feud. Um, and I might grab somebody to like back them up a little bit. I don't want to go overboard with it. I definitely don't want to go overboard. I'm going to have a huge roster regardless. Um, Kama Mustafa might be someone I want though. He's, he's a good solid choice. Um, but let me see. El Samurai. Hmm. No, I want kind of some, I might grab Norman Smiley just as like a little undercard face that can job occasionally. Yeah, I'll grab Norman Smiley. 42 people deep, I'll grab Norman Smiley. Um, maybe grab Woman too. Yeah, I might grab Woman too. Bring her, bring her in, yeah. I can, I can find someone for her to manage, I'm sure. Uh, laparka has gone. That's that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Mustafa would be a, a pick. Sweet Georgia Brown, Bad News Brown. Snuka is still on there. He's going to stay on there. Um, Thrash and Mosher, uh, Thrasher and Mosh, whatever. They might they might be a pick. The Cam Canem Express could be a pick, but I I don't know I. The Killer Bees? Ah, the Killer Bees could be a get. Um, who's Balls? Who's Balls? Balls isn't dealing with anybody yet, huh? I guess he's not part of the Chair Swinging Freaks yet. Um, Wrath? I always I always liked Chronic in general. I thought Chronic was a cool tag team. Weird. Not a great tag team name, but... Um, yeah, I always thought that Chronic was kind of kind of intimidating and cool, but... I don't know. Um... I might go with Christopher Daniels. He could be a good he could be a good little undercard guy who gets beat up a lot. Chris Daniels would be solid for that. Um I saw some other fun name on there that I'm thinking about now. And that fun name was Edge. I might bring I might bring in the the brood a, a little bit early. They could be a fun team to feud with um Let's see if Gangrel's available. Yeah, Gangrel's available. I could bring the I could bring the brood in to feud with Glacier and with and with Sister Sherry's whole whole steez. That would be fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And let's see, where's Edge? Get me Edge. Bring him in. And where's Christian? Christian Cage. Bring him in. And I saw someone else that I want. Where's Canyon? Bring him in. Is he, who's he tagging with? No one yet. Okay. No one right now, it seems. Uh, I'm going to keep going until these guys stop. So I might end up with like 60 some odd wrestlers. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I might go ahead. Val Venus would be a weird... A, a weird choice for right now. I don't know if I want Val Venus. Dan Severn, like, he's not over enough. Like, he would be really good in the ring, like, to some extent, but, like, he, he brings a legitimacy to it, but I don't know if that legitimacy is so necessary that I, I want to pick him up. Um, let me see. I don't know if I want Balls, Mahoney. 
UK Undertaker, maybe. Hmm. Jerry Lynn, I think, would be a good a good addition to the roster. I'm going to go Jerry Lynn, yeah. Let's see here. Rocco Rock. Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, Public Enemy would probably be around, a but they're heels, and I don't want to add another heel tag team. I've already got enough heel tag teams. I could use... Oh, man. The Yete to feud with Glacier? Ah, oh, that could be a good one. Bring the bring me the Yete. Yeah. So the Yete and Viscera are going to be part of uh, are a part of of Sherry's stable to feud with uh, to feud with Glacier. That'll be good. In the in the most tr honest way possible. That's going to be great. Are they no, Moe's not teaming with anybody right now, right? Because Viscera is already here. Um, let's see. Could go with John Akiyama. John Akiyama is a good ta a good little cruiserweight guy. Super crazy would be good for my cruiserweight division. Um, Tarzan Goto is super. He I've always liked the uh, the name of Tarzan Goto, but I don't know if I want him on the roster necessarily. Let's look around. Let's look and see. Um, well done. Well done's around, but I don't really want another heel tag team like I've said. Um, hmm. Oh, Black Cat, of course. He's he's around. That's good. I'm glad he's around. The Pitbulls, another heel tag team. Hmm. Well, let's see. Are the Moondogs heels? Yes, they are. Everyone's a heel. All of the tag teams are heels. That's the problem. Um, I could bring Colonel Robert Parker in to, to manage... To manage Harlem Heat, but... I could also bring Teddy Long in to manage Harlem Heat. They don't really need a manager, but I could. I could do that. That is a an option. Um, Bobby Duncan Jr. I always I always liked him a little bit. Um, Max Muscle. Hmm. Eh, eh. Let's see. There's got to be some other tag team that I can just I can just grab and and throw in there. Bradshaw. I, do I need any more like? Lower, like, card heels. I don't know if I do. Uh, but I, I do definitely... You can never have too many low card faces. Gregory Helms is an option. Blue Meanie is an option. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and bring Steve Corino in. He'll be, a good, he'll be a good little job guy at the lower end of the card. Who do we got all the way down here? Who do we have all the way down here? Hardys. Are they a tag team? They are. It's early, but I'm going to bring the Hardy boys in. I'm going to bring Jeff and Matt in. It's Again, it's early, but bring the Hardys in. All right, they're still going, so I'll, I'll keep going too. I don't know if I really need more people. I think I'm actually pretty solid, but... If they're still going, I'm still going. Cause I don't want to have I don't want to have the uh, I don't want to have the least number of people out of out of the top three companies in the world. Um, and I'm WCW. I feel like we have to have like the most number of people possible. Um, we just got to sign everybody to million dollar contracts. To Jerry, maybe we bring him in to work cruiserweight stuff. Sure. Stevie Richards up there, Jado down there. Okay. Uh, I saw Simon Diamond. Where was he? Simon Diamond might be a, a, a choice. Hmm. Um. Let's see. It's WCW, so I don't really want like a women's division right now. Um. Cause WCW never, never really cracked the code of women's wrestling. They never figured out that formula. You know, they, they, we tried, but we just never figured it out. There's some, there was some kind of missing number somewhere. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'll, I'll bring Bobby Duncan Jr. in and I'm, I think I'll grab, I think I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll get, um, I'll get Bradshaw and they can team up. They can be a tag team. Okay. They've stopped. I won't know if they've stopped yet because I'm in I'm I'm at war with with WWF. They're the ones I've got to watch out for. So I need to I need to get 
more people than they have. Uh, let me see about the god ones. I don't want the god ones. And, okay, there's only one left anyway. I, I don't want the god ones. But, let's look here. Who else can I grab? Um, who is Bash? Bash and Crash. Okay, that's a ta they're a tag team. Sure. And there's little Spike Dudley. I could bring little Spike Dudley in. I could bring little Spike Dudley in. That's fine. Yeah. All right. All right, they've stopped at 55. Let me see if there's anyone else that I want. Anybody else? Uh, Gregory Helms, I don't know. Yeah, but no, not really. Um, oh, Crash Holly is a... Crash Holly's around? Is, um... Is, is, is Bob Holly around? Bob Holly's around. Huh. I might grab the Hollies, too. Bob Holly and Crash Holly, I might grab them. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna grab the Hollies, and then I'll call that a good enough roster. Yeah. And, uh, da 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 da, da in turn. Yes. All right. So, let's see how long this has gone. 31 minutes already, just for the draft. Just for the draft, we've got 31 minutes. Cool. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed watching me draft people for, um, <laughs> for half an hour. All right. Let's go ahead and let's look at our messages real quick here. Um... All right, so Ted Turner wants me to make Sting the face of the company. I can do that. Win one gimmick match of the year award. I maybe I can do that. Hold three five star or higher matches. Uh, that well, I've got some workhorses. We'll see what we can do. Uh, who is going to try to be part timers? Randy Savage, Vader, DDP, Arn Anderson, and Stevie Ray. They might want to be part timers. Okay, well that's not my my favorite thing. Two of them are main eventers, but I should have enough people that can move up to main events that it won't be a huge loss. Uh, and this is going to be all just like talent management. This is going to be all just like the, the staff guys, that is. I can hire staff members. And I've got facilities. These are things that I, I have never had before because I've never had the paid version before. So that's that's all brand new to me. Um, I will go ahead. And I'll look at our. I'll look at our roster. Run that down real quick. We got 59 people. Uh, all right. Main event is going to be Randy Savage and Sting. Randy Savage and Sting are both faces, so that's. I'm going to have to move them into feuds with some undercard guys. Got to build up the monsters. Um, that are probably going to be like Vader and like Steve Williams. Most likely are going to be our, our big, our big heels. Um, okay, so before we go into the Great American Bash, I've got to do that, but we've got Savage, we got Sting, we got Austin, we got Vader, Luger, uh, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, we got DDP, Arn Anderson, Booker T, Scott Norton, Shane Douglas, Stevie Ray, New Jack, I'll look at the tag teams in a moment, but we've also got in the lower card here, we've got a pretty stacked lower card. Like, all of these guys are, like, set to be great cruiserweights or tag teams, or they could eventually move up. That's all solid stuff. Our tag teams, Sting and Lex Luger, Harlem Heat, the Dudley Boys, the Gangstas, Fire and Ice, American Males, the Smoking Guns, the Eliminators, the New Rockers, and the Hardy Boys. We've also got some um, managers here. I'll go over and I'll, I'll assign the, uh, the managers to their people here in just a moment. Um... And that's probably what I'm going to do this episode. I'll probably actually book the Great American Bash next episode. This is all just set up. Uh, Bobby Heenan. Who 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 should Bobby Heenan be working with? Hmm. Okay, I should set up my. I should set up a faction first. I should set up uh, Sherry's Dungeon of Doom. Yeah, Sherry's Dungeon of Doom, and it's going to be Sensational Sherry. It's going to be. Viscera. It's going to be the Yete. Is there anybody else I wanted to add to the dungeon? Hmm. I might add another team. Who do I? Who else? Who else would be good to feud with Glacier? And because that's a hundred percent who they're going after. It's Glacier. Um. 
I might throw a tag team in there. I might not. I don't know yet. Let's see. Because if I did throw a tag team in there, who would it be? Who who would the who would she bring in to try to take out Glacier? Obviously Viscera, and obviously the Yete. Is there anybody else she could bring in to take out Glacier? Maybe not yet. Maybe we hold off on that. Maybe we hold off on that. And Sherry's, of course, the leader of this faction. And then we'll also add the Brood in here. Which has got to be Gangrel and Edge, obviously, and Christian Cage. And Gangrel's their leader, and those three vampires want to beat up uh, Sub-Zero real bad. Because um, wrestling is Mortal Kombat. Uh, that's one thing about wrestling you really need to know and understand and appreciate. Um, but that doesn't answer my question of who I want... I mean, I can go ahead. I can add. Um, I can add Sherry's people real quick for her. Add her relationships, because um, she's got to be managing the Yete, and she's got to be managing Viscera. Maybe I add Vader. No, no, no. She doesn't need to add Vader. She doesn't need to manage Vader, but she definitely manages the Yete, and she manages Viscera. Uh, Eric Bischoff. Who is he going to be managing? Who is who is the the heel, you know, president of the company? Who's he behind? Because I don't think he's going to be managing like a, a, a whole stable, but who who he's got to be behind somebody here. Um, who would benefit from standing next to Eric Bischoff and and just him being the smarmy like douchebag that he is with them? You think that he might be behind like Vader? Him him handling Vader would be okay, but I think Bobby Heenan would be better for Vader. Maybe maybe Steve Williams, but I don't know. Maybe Steve Williams. Um What Well, maybe what what if he was managing uh the gangsters? What if what if Eric Bischoff managed the gangsters? <laughs> Okay, I'm doing that, because imagine the promos. <laughs> so, Heenan's going to manage Vader. I might add him for some other relationships. The Heenan family might grow beyond this. But for sure, he's going to manage Vader. Um, Yeah, no. Eric Bischoff is going to manage the gangsters. Because that's, that's a good pairing. That's what you. That's what should happen. That's what will happen. He's here to back them up against the network. Eric Bischoff helping out the gangsters and keeping them on your television. Um, and woman, who would woman manage? Uh, she's like a heel, right? She's got to be like a heel, I think. Um, let me look. Woman, woman is a heel, yes. Okay, so... Let's see. Um, woman could manage. I could see woman maybe with like, you know, maybe like actually like Arn Anderson or Steve Williams or something. Arn Anderson doesn't need a mouthpiece though. Does Steve Steve Williams might need a mouthpiece? I could kind of see Shane Douglas, but Shane Douglas is I, I think is a face right now, and faces don't need managers. But Vader's already got Bobby Heenan. Um, Steve Williams. He could use he could use a mouthpiece. Steve Williams could use a mouthpiece. Woman could be that mouthpiece. I think that's how I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, woman will manage. And we might like add some more people, but for right now, Dr. Death is going to be managed by woman. That works for me. I'm in I'm into that. That works. So, right now, Bobby Heenan managing Vader. I might add him a tag team. Eric Bischoff managing the Gangstas. Uh, woman managing Steve Williams. And Sensational Sherry managing Viscera and the Yete. This is good. I feel I feel good about this. Um, I should add... I should add the Holly Cousins. 
as a tag team. I should definitely make them into a tag team. Bob Holly and Crash Holly. Where's Crash? Crash, 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 Crash there. All right. Was there any other tag teams I needed to make? I was going to make um I was going to make uh Bradshaw and Bobby Duncan Jr. into a tag team. Yeah. Nope, not what I There, that's it. Um West Texas Rednecks early? West Texas Rednecks early, I, I think. I think yes. <laughs> rednecks, because it's the 90s. you got to spell things wrong. No. West Texas Rednecks, uh, Bobby Duncan Jr. And, and, and Justin Hawk Bradshaw, that'll be a good little tag team there. I should add uh, Edge and Christian as the brood, because they're not a tag team already. Oh, okay. Well, maybe they're already maybe it already considers them a, a team because of that. I guess that already is a team because of that. I don't know. Regardless, I feel all right about this. That's pretty solid. Um yeah, so let's look at the indies real quick. Um I could just go ahead and I could I could bring these guys in. I could bring in the Can-Am Express right now, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. Uh, let me see if there's anyone I can, I want to like scout for possible hiring in the future. Let's look. The amazing French Canadians, maybe the Pit Bulls, Bruise Brothers, Techno Team 2000. Yeah, that'd be solid. Um, that'll put some butts in the seats. But um, I might I might go ahead. I might look into hiring in the future. The maybe the body donnas. I'll go ahead and I'll scout the body donnas. That'll be good, yeah. Trent Patel can go and scout the body donnas. That'd be good. Um Let's look at the, the rankings ahead of anything else. Steve Williams, top ranked wrestler, Mustafa <laughs> Mustafa Saeed, number two, New Jack number three, Vader, Viscera, the Yete, Sting, Crash Holly, Bob Holly, and Spike Dudley. Those are your top ranked wrestlers. Um beginning beginning the game. The top ten. Randy Savage, nowhere to be seen. This is uh this is gonna be interesting. Let me look let me look over here. Let's see stats maybe. Yeah, okay. So our iconic wrestlers, Randy Savage, Sting, and Steve Austin. Most over, Steve Austin, shockingly. Top heel, Steve Austin. So maybe Austin's ready for the title picture, brother. Maybe he's ready. Austin and Savage might we might just go ahead and like shoot us right into that feud um who knows maybe um so austin versus savage could be the thing we run with iconic tag teams sting and luger and harlem heat iconic factions both the dungeon of doom and the brood starting out iconic good that's how it's supposed to be um let's look at how the wwf our biggest competition how they look they've got hogan on top they got rick or, or they got ricky choshu and they got terry funk uh, Kamala is the most over in the company. Ricky Choshu, top heel. Hogan, top face. The Faces of Fear, their iconic tag team. And let's look at ECW. Shawn Michaels, Antonio Inoki, and the Sandman, of course, naturally, are their most iconic wrestlers. Uh, Hawk is their most over. Tully Blanchard, their top heel. Shawn Michaels, their top face. They don't have any teams or factions currently. W.A.W., Kaiji Muto, Scott Hall, and Rick Rude as their top guys. Raven, the most over. Scott Hall, their top heel. Kaiji Muto, their top face. U.S.W.A., since I'm just covering the U.S. right now. Ric Flair, Kevin Nash, Tatsumi, Fujinami, the giant as their most over. Ric Flair, obviously top heel. Tatsumi Fujinami, top face. We're going to be seeing a WrestleMania rematch in that feud, I think. And then we'll move over to the Land of the Rising Sun, Japan, where, of course, The Undertaker, Bret Hart, and Ultimate Warrior rule. Uh, Jerry Lawler is the most over. Masahiro Chono is, uh, is their top heel. The Undertaker, their top face. Chono versus The Undertaker sounds like a really interesting feud. 
Um, all right. Okay, so I, we don't have any feuds currently set up. Uh, I think I might start with a few. I might start. I might just build those feuds real quick, get those set up before um, before I actually turn it off, before I cut this episode off here. We will do the uh, Great American Bash and the things leading up to it um, next time on the next episode. But for this one, I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set up my feuds here. Um, it's got to be, it's got to be like, I guess Savage and Savage and Austin have to be a feud that we're, we're booking. So let's see here. Randy Savage versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's not Stone Cold yet, but he is, he is, he's going to be, he will be. Um, and they're going to go, uh, disrespect disrespect austin's disrespected savage that's a that's a hot little start there um let's see did that just create the, that that create the feud or did that create the potential feud create the potential feud okay um all right okay okay um let's see Sting and Steve Williams, maybe? Sting and Steve Williams could be the, the the hot feud that we go with in the right after that one. Um, co at the same time as that one. But it might also be Sting versus Vader. Sting and Vader would be a, a good... That'd be a good, solid feud. Um, Sting and Arn Anderson could be good. Sting and Arn Anderson could be really good. And we might do we might do Sting Ar Sting and Anderson and Luger Vader. Those could be good good feuds. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let's go ahead. Let's add the potential feud there. Let's go ahead. Let's do uh, Sting versus Anderson. Sting and Arn Anderson. That's just a straight up a grudge. That's just a grudge. A grudge feud. Uh, and then we've got. Got Vader and we've got Luger. Anything that I can put on there from down here? No, it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like we've got anything down there. Um, cycle this for me. Jealousy? Hmm. Vader jealous of Luger or Luger ver jealous of Vader? You're a prude, illegitimate child. Better car, my hair is better, creeper, spite, embarrassment, embarrassment could be good. Stole my gimmick. Yeah, Vader is mad because Luger came out uh, just doing the Vader bomb and uh, that could be fun. I loved you, hurt my ego, I'm above you. Hmm. I like the idea of, of Vader being, like, really, really arrogant. Instead of Luger, it's Vader who's really arrogant. So Vader is, like, gatekeeping Lex Luger away from the title picture. I like that, actually. So, let's see. Our feuds, we've got, we've got three hot, 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 hot uh, singles feuds at the top of the card here. Uh, we'll probably end up moving... Like some other people into feuds too. I actually, uh, how many feuds can I have going at a time? Does it does it give me a limit? EWR does and stuff like that. I don't know if I don't know if these uh, these feuds are limited, but I'll, I'll I'll book those three for sure. Um, all right, I think that's pretty good. It doesn't it won't show me that yet. Can I hire new, do I need to hire new, new talent? Dr. Bailey, Dusty, how's it going, bud? Well, I got to hire him. He's my, he's my, he's my best friend. Be weird if I didn't bring him into the roster. Uh, you, yeah, I got, you got old. You, you started wearing like a yellow towel on your head. That's odd, buddy. But, you know, Dr. Bailey, come work for, oh, you can't. Oh. Well, I tried, I tried Dust. And with that in mind, with that, that job offer falling by the wayside, we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut it off right here for this episode. Um, I will be doing some more of this. Again, Fire Promoter will return momentarily. I'm just doing this in addition to it. It's not really like replacing it. 
Uh, I just kind of wanted to do this secretly because I can do this a lot quieter than Fire Promoter and 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 not wake people up. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off right here, guys. I'll be back with more Journey of Wrestling and Fire Promoter in the very near future. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you're having a good time, please do all the YouTube stuff. You know what it is by now. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the damn bell. And I'll be back very soon with another episode of something. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.